Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents Truthfully XL. Now, there's been a lot of talk over the years about a ride or die, a gutter, a main, a bottom bitch. You know what I mean? Like, when you hear the term ride or die, like, a lot of people think, oh, they're going to be there for you forever, through thick and thin, no matter what. Yeah, part of it. But in reality, it is so much deeper than that. It's so much deeper. Mm hmm. So for me, I didn't know what a ride or die was until I, you know, found who I'm, who I'm with now. You know what I mean? Like, honestly. Honestly and truly, can you look in your partner's eyes and say, no matter what, that person is never going to give up on you. That person is going to stick it out with you. That person is going to try to make you the best human being you could possibly be. No matter what, no matter what it takes, they're going to make sure that you're comfortable and you got a smile on your face. Even if they got to do it through tough love. So, my lady, right? If... If I fuck up or if I get on her nerves, if I do something stupid, man, she will motherfucking, I call it timeout. It's this thing she do where you can't text her. She won't text you back. You can't call her. You can't do, you really can't do nothing, but you got to start from scratch, really. You got to start from scratch. And by that, I mean, when niggas first meet a female we be ready to die for it. You be ready to go all crazy. You be ready to spend your little bread. You be ready to do it all. Give it a month. You still doing stuff, give it a two months. You still kind of doing stuff, give it three months. Most niggas, after they done smacked it as many times as a nigga can smack in three months, nigga. Don't, like, bro, let me, nah, I'm t- it's your Uncle Izzy. You don't got to play with me, bro. We here. It's us. It's us. It's me talking, bro. I understand. But when you meet that female that's like, like, like when you hear her voice, like she, she mastered a science. It's like a hypnosis, really. Where it's like, if she, if you did something that aggravate her, get on her nerves, make her not want to talk to you for whatever many days, and she, and she finally let you hear her voice, you be feeling like, let me, let me tell you what a nigga told me once. They said, if you starve a man. For a while, he'll be ready to eat anything. And that is true. But when you are used to eating the same food every night, and that's your fa- that's became your favorite dish, if somebody starve you of that, nothing is going to fucking taste the same. They're like, oh, I got some macaroni. I don't care. Oh, I got some lobster. I don't care. I got some shrimp rag. I don't care. I want what I've been eating. But that's besides the point. The reason why a nigga will be like willing to willing to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like ladies, I learned this from a lady. I learned this from my lady. You have a power that you just have to simply unlock. You got to understand you got to understand, my shorty keep it P. She keep that shit capital. Push, push it P. She push it. Yo, she's wild, yo. Her game is strong, bro. Like, and I'm not talking from a perspective of one of you little lame niggas that don't get no pussy. No, 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 no. This is me, bro. I've gotten more pussy than a lot of you niggas have had adult breaths. I'm telling you, bro. It's something about when you meet that one, when you meet that 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 true ride or die, when you meet your bottom bitch, like the one that's gonna be down for you, the the the, the foundation of which you stand on as a man, it's gonna be different for you, bro. And you gonna have to really, you gonna have to really, yeah, you gonna have to dig deep in your soul and dig deep in that pocket. A lot of you niggas like to be, you know what I'm saying, crazy with the with the, you know what I mean, like to be cheap. Look, that's your world, right? What would you niggas be? All right, if a nigga asks you, oh, what would you do to keep your world intact? You'd be like, I'd do anything to keep my world intact, would you? Because as soon as a nigga say she wants some, so she wants some uh, Yeezys or she wants some Gucci slides, you start looking, looking around. Don't look around, nigga. You, <laughs> hey, it's, it's me, bro. 
I know your I know your check didn't come like it was supposed to come this week, but maybe next week, bro. Listen to me. I get it. I get it. Don't sacrifice your well being for the, for some Gucci slides. But at the end of the day, she's your world, right? Make it happen. If that girl is holding you down, if that girl is is building you up, and she is your foundation, make that shit happen somehow, some motherfucking way, bro. Don't give up on your love, man. Don't give up on love, man. I'm telling you, I'm a nigga who used to guy, man. I have more bitches than Pootie Tang, nigga. I'm t- bro. Listen to me, bro. Listen to me. I had a long run, man. A long run, and that shit is over. And it's not because, oh, Izzy going out. Oh, damn, Izzy, you fell in love. Oh, Izzy, you pussy whipped. Hey, shut your dumb young ass up. I fell in love with a woman, a grown woman. And she got me out here walking and talking to you little niggas like a grown man. And I can never repay it. But I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying. With that being said, man, thanks for listening, Joe.